Howdy folks, this is Quabana with OpenMV, and today I just wanted to do a quick video about a cool little feature I got working. Uh, so right here, this is the uh, global shutter camera, the MT9B0XX, because um, we support the 22, 24, 34, and 32 sensors now. Um, anyway, so as you can see, we have it working in bare mode, and you can stream out a color image from that global shutter sensor. Uh, it looks like there's a dead pixel right you know, at the bottom of my shirt, but otherwise, um, yeah, it does kind of work. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show off is uh, we had a customer asking about this and you know, could you make it do uh, a correct color image. As you can see, the image is kind of like greenish. It's not really like bright. Um, and that's kind of how the cameras kind of default come out of the box. Like this is what a raw image looks like. Uh, it's because the way the Bayer pattern works on a camera. Um, there's a lot more green pixels, 2x more than the red and blue, and so typically the image is a lot greener by default. Um, and it's not quite what you want to see for a regular color. Um, so anyway, the goal was, could I make an algorithm, uh, let's call it uh, auto white balance, uh, that cleans this up? And so I was able to implement the traditional gray world auto white balance algorithm on the OpenMV cam. And what was really cool is that thanks to the ARM DSP instructions, we're actually able to do it near real time. So now that I add that feature, you can see the picture went from greenish to actually the correct color. And this is on the global shutter camera. Um, it's not perfect in all cases since it's a great world algorithm. It sometimes messes up. Uh, but generally, though, it kind of acts like the, uh, the normal uh, automatic white balance you would see on a regular camera. And so as you can see, the frame rate didn't you know, move at all, or you didn't take a drop or anything, even though it's executing that in every image. Uh, so how is that possible? Well, it's actually implemented using packed ARM instructions. So the way you do the gray world algorithm is pretty simple. You have to do a sum of the pixels, uh, you know, red, green, and blue components. And Thanks to the DSP instructions, actually, it's possible to, you know, given a 32-bit read of grabbing like green and blue pixels, for example, in a row, uh, we can, within, you know, four assembly instructions, basically uh, compute the sum of their green and blue components, and then we toggle back and forth depending on the rows. And so this allows the processor to like just barrel through and it runs at about 3 to 2.5x faster than doing this with normal assembly instructions. And then uh, thanks to um, the, again, armed pack instructions, you can use this really cool operation called the select instruction. Uh, basically, this allows us to, uh, to explain this would be really complicated, but more or less what's happening is I'm able to actually uh, subtract out the green pixels, um, do a modification on them, and then select uh, the unmodified pixels and put them back in. So it's kind of like if you imagine four pixels are inside of a 32-bit long, I'm able to use the DSP instructions to update two of those four pixels while not touching the other two. Um, anyway, pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's fun to write this kind of code because when you, uh, when you kind of get it done, you can see huge performance boosts compared to uh, previous things. Um, and then we also added one more thing in here. Um, we also added a color matrix correction algorithm. Uh, this is some kind of ISP stuff that people would do normally. Uh, so I, it's kind of hard to show that one off, but um, basically it lets you multiply the image by a 9 by 9 matrix. That would be the color var values, more or less, for the camera. And so the benefit of using color matrix correction would be like if you had a camera that had pretty significant crosstalk between red and green components, uh, you can kind of subtract those out. And so this is typically some, something that's done by the ISP, uh, the image signal processor on a camera, but I just added it to our SDK such that uh, you can kind of do that yourself if you need to, to kind of clean up the image. Anyway, just wanted to show this off real quick. And, uh, you know, I was just surprised by the performance of these DSP instructions and continue to be delighted by them. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.